Hello and welcome to this review for Pennsylvania Dutch original brand eggnog made with rum, brandy, and blended whiskey. Made and bottled by Dairyland Distillers Company, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 29.5 proof. Shake before pouring, serve chill, refrigerate after opening. 750 milliliter bottle. Uh, this old style eggnog. It has a 19 to 11, so the 211th day of 2019. It's got the date as uh, 10.53 a.m. Okay, and then there's another code. I don't know what that's for. All right, so this company, Charles Jockan and C. Etsy, was founded in the 1880s. They're still in business and in uh, Philadelphia. I don't know anything else about them really. They have a lot of brands like I bought the Bocador rum. Now the bottle's kind of flat. There's like a little dip in the bottle right here. I don't think that's on purpose. like a little flaw. A little filigree where the letters are. And there's a scene of mountains in the background and a farm out I guess in the The uh, Appalachian Mountains. Never before added, there are video reviews and I intend to watch those. Don't have anything from this company, I just have this Bailey's uh, ceramic container. All right. Thick, as you would expect. Have a little cinnamon put on it. Uh, ground cinnamon. Alright, so you can't see, obviously, but maybe I could tip it. spill out. You might have seen a little bit of brown tan from the cinnamon. Um, well, it was a strong cinnamon aroma since I poured that. Let's see about this. Uh, different liquor in the eggnog. You probably know what eggnog smells like. Eggs, different cream concoctions. I think the reviews are good from what I've heard. It must be pop, must be good because they sell a lot of it around here. I bought this at Mathern's for $9.99 for the 750 milliliter bottle. All right, so ABV, yeah, 14.75% alcohol. All I didn't shake it enough. Um, eggy, creamy, milky, thick. Sweet, dessert-like. It's cool today. It's warming up though. You can see the leaves, different, you know, fall leaves, uh, orange, gold, green, red. Yes, we have turning of the leaves here in Louisiana with certain trees. A little bit more here without the cinnamon. Yeah. <clears throat> the cinnamon masks the, the liquor, the spirits, the brandy, rum, and blended whiskey. I'm sure it's pretty easy for them to make because they have a whole line, many different rums, brandies, and blended whiskeys. This company they used to have a good website, a um, decent website, but it's no longer functional. I don't know why. They have a Facebook page, but they're basically just talking about uh, 
Uh, we've been in business a long time. They show a bunch of old photos from over the last hundred years. And um, but as far as what brands they carry isn't too helpful. But I know they make the Boca Door Rum, Rums line, Pennsylvania Dutch. But there's a whole, or, you know, a whole array, rum, brandy, gin, vodka, whiskey, schnapps. I think that's what they're kind of famous for. I think they're mostly famous for cordials and liqueurs like this. That's their mainstay, but they do other, other products for sure. Okay, so one of the old mainstays of the Philadelphia industrial world. Uh, under this label, known as Dairyland Distillers Company, um, under the Bocador Worldwide Distilling, Sazerac does the same thing. All the companies do the same thing, have aliases, alias registrations. Um, I would give this a very high score. Uh, I tried the benchmark old number seven eggnog. In the refrigerator, I have a bottle of um, Evan Williams. I see that Zachariah Harris just came into Matherns. It's cheaper, a good deal cheaper, seven forty-six, I think, for a bottle. Um, benchmark is seven ninety-nine. These are more premier, I guess, so that's why they're nine ninety-nine. I think it's a, it's just a sure shot winner. Downside. <laughs> There isn't a downside. This, I couldn't find an introduction date, like when this product was introduced to the market, but I'm sure it's been a long time. It seemed like I remember seeing this when I was little. <laughs> uh, didn't pay any mind to it, I just remember seeing it, people having it during Thanksgiving, Christmas, that kind of stuff. So um, I don't know if you've ever had Pennsylvania Dutch, but let me know if you have. I'm gonna say a 96 out of 100, I almost said 97, but 96, a most excellent product. No, it, and honestly, the benchmark was right up there with it. The benchmark was dynamite. And I'm going to end this review by saying, Lazy Le Bon Temps Y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.